Good morning, all. So I am so excited today because I am going to be revealing a new tool that we have been working on at Rework Works. My name is Stacy Gordon, and I am the Chief Diversity Strategist at Rework Work. And our goal at Rework Work is to uh, embed DEI into the DNA of all the companies that we work with. And we over here are always reworking what doesn't work about work. And so I am really excited because we've been working on a framework that will help companies to kind of get an idea of where they land. Because what we're finding is so many companies have questions and the first place they want to start is with unconscious bias. And so when we're working with companies to help them understand uh, the diversity and inclusion initiatives that they would like to put in place and really getting an idea of um, where to start, how to start, um, we have, we were trying to think like, how do we do this? How do we help more companies? Because, you know, we're a small agency. We can't get to everyone. I'd love to get to everyone. Um, but one of those ways that we are getting to people is through LinkedIn online learning, which is such a great tool. So if you're not connected, um, first of all, let me say, if you're not following me on LinkedIn, please do that. If you're not following the company, we work work on LinkedIn, uh, we would love it if you would follow us because we'll sometimes post things there that I forget to post about on my personal LinkedIn. So if you want to get all the up-to-date news of what's happening, you'll want to go to our LinkedIn uh, company account. And so that is a great place to just stay up to date and stay connected with what's happening in the DEI world as we see it. Um, but you know what, like I said, we are working with a lot of companies who are trying to make sense of what has happened this year um, and why all of a sudden, you know, diversity and inclusion has really made it to the forefront. And I think that people are really starting to see that before we were talking and now action needs to happen, right? So there are, um, I would call like October like conference month because there are so many conferences and despite COVID, we will prevail and we are still moving forward. So there are a number of um, great conferences coming up. I'm going to be coaching at the Diversity Women's uh, Business Leadership Conference, which I've done for a couple of years now. Um, love that conference. We've posted about it. I'm also going to be uh, speaking at the California HR conference um, next month. I believe I'm also speaking at ATD's conference uh, next month. Um, and there are a couple of others that I am missing right now, but definitely we will be, be posting about all those different events, places where you can hear me speak and advice that I will be providing over the next uh, couple of months. So. To the really interesting, well, this is what I hope is interesting <laughs> information, and that is that we have come up with a blueprint, a blueprint to help organizations really assess where they are. And we look at it as a framework of four, four phases, four levels, right? Um, we start with awareness. Um, and so I feel like this year, that's where everyone is. We got shocked into awareness. And so there are a lot of um, employees who were saying to their, their companies, you know, well, you should have done something before. Why are, why are you now doing this? You know, you're only bowing to pressure. But, you know, sometimes you have to figure out, sometimes it does take external pressure to do the right thing internally, right? And so um, regardless of how we got here, we are here and companies are paying attention and they're realizing we need to do something. So in this awareness phase though, everyone wants to start with, um, you know, unconscious bias. And, and I get that and I actually love that because of course I teach unconscious bias. I, I talk about it. I help with how do you combat it? Um, we actually talk about uh, a phrase that I coined called unbias, um, which is an excuse the helicopter that seems to be flying above my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we talk about unbiasing, right? Taking the bias out of your workplace. And so that's why this blueprint is called the unbiased blueprint. And we are um, 
asking that everyone kind of take a look at it and take the assessment and let me know what you think. Um, what it will do is it will go through the four phases. You've got awareness, you have alignment, we have action and advocacy. And um, I jokingly said, you know, if somebody takes this assessment and gets to advocacy, they're lying. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I joke, I really do. Um, I think that if, if someone takes the assessment and their company really is in the advocacy phase, that's what we want, that's great. So the four phases, as I said, we start off with awareness. That's where most people are. They're in this space where they're starting to realize we need to do something, we have to do something, but we're not sure what to do and we don't know what direction to take. So the awareness phase helps to understand all of those. In the alignment phase, what we talk about is, you know, are your leaders really aligned with this? Like now that we've discovered what some of the concerns might be, now that we've thought about what the direction might need to be, do you have leadership that is really going to help to move you towards the goal? Um, and are you going to get there as um, as an organization? And then you, then you get to act, right? So most of the people that we're talking to want to jump straight to action and we have to drag them back kicking and screaming to the awareness phase. So I know that you know if you're reaching out and you're looking to work with us and your first step you wanna say unconscious bias training, I'll say this, you know, it would be great if you'd start with the LinkedIn online learning unconscious bias course that I created because one, it's short, two, it's free. <laughs> and so there is no barrier to entry for this. There's no reason that your entire organization can't take this course right now because it's free for everyone to be able to take. So hoping that you'll take advantage of that because when do you get free stuff? You know, it's so hard to get uh, information that is really going to help you move your company forward um, for free, right? Like F-R-E-E, -E, free, whether you've got five employees or 50,000 employees, you can all take the course for free right now. So this is something that you should all be doing. Um, if you've already done it, share it with a colleague and ask them to get their uh, employees to take it because why not, right? We, we, we definitely need the information. And I believe that in that course, that's in, in the awareness phase, it's helping you to understand where we are and what we need to do, right? So going back to action, that's where everybody wants to be. Everybody wants to be in action. Everybody wants to be um, participating and, and doing something, which is great. Um, but sometimes if you're doing things before you have really understood your direction, um, that's not so great. So that's why it's really important that we that we go there. And then the advocacy stage is the ultimate stage. It's the stage after you've looked at your practices, your policies, your procedures, you made sure your, your leadership um, is treating everybody equitably, that you have um, you know, spoken with all of your employees, you've practiced authenticity as a leader, you've created psychological safety in your workplace, your employees feel as though they belong, and your retention is, is high, right? Your turnover is low. Um, you're an employer of choice, like these are all the things that should be happening in your workplace um, for you to be in that advocacy stage. And so it would, uh, you know, that is definitely the phase that we are trying to get you to. And so, so excited for everyone who is here today and who is paying attention and who has been joining me every single week. I appreciate you. I know Ingrid, you've been dialing in almost every week. That's so awesome. I'm so glad to see you here today. Um, I started July 1st and I've been doing uh, a um, LinkedIn Live every Wednesday all the way through. And so next week will probably be my last one that I'm going to do frequently. After that, we'll see where we go. Um, but I'm really gonna be focusing on getting as many people as possible to take this assessment um, and really start to understand where we are as, a, a, you know, where you are as a company, but then also where we are as a workplace, right? As a global workplace, what does that look like? And so that's our goal. That's what we're working towards. Um, and so I just wanted to really make that announcement. You'll be seeing lots and lots and lots of promos from me about it because I'm hoping that you'll take it. I'm hoping that you'll share it. And so um, those are my two asks, you know, take the assessment, take the unconscious bias course, and let's get all of the companies from awareness to advocacy by 2021. That's the goal. So thank you so much. Appreciate you all joining in. We had a short, just hello today. 
and uh, dial in next week because next week will probably be the last live that I'll do for um, at least frequently. I will continue to do the lives, but I might not do them as frequently, but we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day.